Hey guys, just wanted to show off a cool little trick I've been using in Game Maker recently, and then I, I didn't really think this would become as like common uh, technique as I as I as it has become, but uh, I'm using it all the time. So it's the GPU uh, set fog trick. Um, so to to give context. Often in Game Maker, I find myself wanting to draw just like the sprite of a character, just uh, like in a solid color. Usually when you're doing something like a hit reaction, so if you're like in a fight and you get hit, uh, you want them to just flash red for like a few frames and then the, that to go away. But it's really hard to do that in Game Maker without using like shaders or something um, because if you say like, okay, draw a sprite extension and then you set the color to red, it will just add red on top of the, the sprite's colors that are already there. So you just get like a redder version of the sprite, which can be fine, like if you want to do that, but I think it's way cooler if you can just get like a solid red color. Um, you can also use it for like uh, different things like subtle color grading. Uh, at right here, I've got like a bunch of things going on with this little guy. So he's got this trail like when he moves. <laughs> Come on, let's move. All right, you can't see it now, but he's got a trail that uh, trails behind him. And those are just like solid colors, uh, but with like a slight, with only like a 50% alpha on them. Uh, that's something that I'm only really able to do because of this uh, effect. Also his shadow, which you can't maybe tell, like initially you wouldn't notice. But it's actually not just like a solid uh, black color. It is a very dark, like bluey purple color that just matches with the overall scene a lot better. So if you're someone, if you're a pixel artist and you want to just kind of draw things naturally, you don't want to have to use like shaders and things to fuck around in Game Maker. This is a trick for you. I'll explain how the the how it works in the context of doing like hit flashes and reactions. So GPU set fog. It's a 3D uh, function in Game Maker, but don't worry, you don't have to set 3D, don't do anything. Just before you draw something, just go GPU set fog. Then this one here where I've written flash is enabled, so just set that to one. Uh, and then the color you want, so ideally do so, do white, okay? Do white and we'll do it, just draw you your character as white. And then this here is 3D star, so that's start and end. You want this to be zero, and what, what this would do in 3D is like draw the, the fog in the distance. Um, you want to do that like to, to hide like uh, like pop in and stuff like that. In this, we just want it to be zero, and this will basically just in a 2D plane draw like a completely opaque fog only on that sprite. So anything drawn after this will have that. So you got to you got to make sure that at the end you do set it back to zero and to white uh, and that will reset everything back to just drawing normally but right in here so here I've got draw sprite extension everything there will be drawn with that uh, solid color and with that fog on it so then you go okay what's this flash why have you done that okay what I've got here is basically when uh, like a bullet hits or, or an attack hits my my little guy uh, it sets uh, that variable flash to I think like 10 or something and then every frame every frame it will tick down towards one again so for a few frames it'll it'll say like okay this flash is you know seven or something what's cool about GPU set fog is because this is just uh, enable or disable anything over one is just counted as one so I can set flash to 30 and it will be it'll equal one as far as this function is concerned for 30 frames just cheat here to show you a fight all right so right there perfect red i've exaggerated I, i've extended the the time that they'll be um red just so that you'll definitely see it for now so you don't have to set it for this long you probably only do it for like seven frames that seems to be the sweet spot for me and I lost the fight, no good. Um, yeah, so that's really cool. You might have also noticed there he had this trail behind him, or you can see it now as well. He's got this trail and his shadows. So those are, those have a whole bunch more stuff that I had to do um, to work out how to do those. If you want a video on those, let me know. I've got drawing the shadow. So I, I, actually I'll go into the shadow now. So right here, basically what I've done is I've gone uh, col, which is just a quick variable, make color, and then 40 and 50, which is just a dark purpley blue kind of color. Uh, then GPU set fog to one. So in this case, I haven't said uh, use flash. Like I've just said one, yes, 
turn it on. I always want it on because I'm drawing a shadow, so I want this to be just a solid color. Uh, then I've got coal, which I just set up here to this color. Then I go draw sprite shadow, which is a function that I've made to draw the shadow. And just set that one to white and it'll just draw like the normal sprite. Uh, then GPU set fog and just reset everything back to white at the end. And that will draw these, uh, these nice shadows. So you can see, you might be like, oh, I don't see a difference, but like when it's just a solid black color, you, you really do notice it. It's like, it's, this fits so much nicer in the scene. You can do a much softer kind of lighting. Uh, and you can also, what's cool about that is you can change it in real time as well. You can be like, oh, you know, I want it to just, you know, if, it, if you have real time shadows, you could do something like uh, change it to a more like pink or an orange or, or have it be something that is more of a complementary color to the rest of the scene. So yeah, uh, I find this so useful and you'll find more and more things that you can use it for that you don't realize. Just highlighting things in UI, if you just go, hey, you know what? If, you know, mouse is, is colliding with, with this button, then GPU set fog to white, you know what I mean? It's so good, <laughs> it's so handy. And I really, I hope they just like make this, I wish this was just a, a function that wasn't part of like the 3D packaging game, Maybe they just made it like a, you know, set draw to you know color to whatever that would be really handy um yeah if you want to see how i've done these shadows and trails and you want me to do a more in-depth video on those because they they took a little bit longer uh let me know uh if this is helpful and you can think of a different use for what i'm using it for here let me know that'd be really cool uh until then stay safe uh oh and uh go and go and wishlist my game nanomon on steam <laughs> see ya